Right, so I'm going to keep this one as short and sweet as possible. So, we had the London Swordsman attack, I made a whole video on that, and as of yesterday we had what has been dubbed as the Paisley Chainsaw Massacre, even though nobody was injured, but I'm making a video on that at the same time of uploading this, so remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss this. And within the same 24-ish hour period of the Paisley Chainsaw Massacre, this fucking video has appeared of a third world man who's definitely not Keith from Lancaster, who decided in the dead of night while live streaming it on Facebook to try and kick down somebody's door and when he failed because he's fat and ugly and, well, the ugly, the ugly, the ugly part's not relevant but fuck it, I'll throw it in. Because he's fat and ugly and out of shape obviously, he couldn't kick their door down so what does he do? He whips out his illegal handgun in the UK and mad dumps into someone's house via the living room fucking window. Now, if you've been watching my previous videos or have been following me on Twitter for any length of time, you'll know that I'm a massive advocate of bringing firearms back for public and private self-defence in the UK. We should never have banned them. Yes, granted they were never for self-defence to begin with. I think that got removed hundreds of years ago when someone walked into Parliament with a flintlock pistol and shot their politician down. I think that's the day that it ended, essentially. And... Yeah, this is the reason why I'm walking it back. This is happening on a daily basis and this is only going to get worse going forward as well. Again, looking back at the swordsman attack, he killed a 14 year old a 14 year old boy, injured two other people and two police officers. And when the police showed up, they barely had any tasers on them and the armed response unit didn't even bother to show up to this case because the police are so beyond stretched thin and a police officer nearly lost their arm and their hand because of the severe slashing that they got and when they took 10 to 11 police officers to finally stop this man, tasers failed three times and the fourth one finally dropped him. As somebody like myself who watches a lot of donut operator um, active self defense, uh, sorry active self protection and police activity videos, tasers fail far more often than they actually succeed by taking down the criminal. They really are inefficient. Again, within that situation with the swordsman, any of those neighbours who had who could have had access to legal firearms or out and about in public with a concealed fire, um, firearm on them, like a handgun, could have just whipped it, plugged one in his head, and maybe not a single person would have got a scratch on them. Nope, we can't do that. Again, the Paisley Chainsaw Massacre guy, again, uploading that video on the same day as this. Again, him chasing police officers, and the police just had no choice but to run because they're unarmed and untrained for this. What a fucking surprise. And while he's screaming, Allo Akbar, Allo Akbar. It's, as, I, as I keep saying, it's never Keith from Lancaster doing this screaming, Christ is kind, Christ is kind, as it goes on a mass killing spree. It's, it's never those people, it's the Allo Akbar third worlders, isn't it? It's always those people. Like, again, shown in this video. And again, it is, someone is now mad dumping their illegal firearm into someone's house. Why? Fucking God knows. It's third world people. They'll do whatever they feel like because that's the type of environment they're from. Now, Tommy Robertson tweeted out the actual video of the Paisley Chainsaw Massacre and I replied, I can't remember what I said, but basically bring back firearms for public and private self-defense, something down that line. I believe I got top reply within that video and it really does show that most of the people responding to my reply to that tweet have fucking zero clue about how the world works or how firearms work. The biggest kind of response that I got was, if all firearms were legal then criminals would just buy their firearms and then it would become a lot worse. Name me one criminal with a firearm license. Name me one criminal who's willing to go to a PlayStation for multiple interviews and background checks before he is allowed to go forward with getting a legal firearm license. Why would a criminal spend all that money, that time and effort to wait months if not years to get that? To, when he could just phone up his other dodgy mate and get a, a handgun or a shotgun within a matter of a couple of hours and spend a few hundred, maybe a couple of thousand on it. Bear in mind that these types of people who are quite high up criminals have that level of money very easily accessible because they're very well off individuals. Like, it makes no sense. Criminals, these types of fuckers have no firearms license. They're smuggled in to the UK and that's how they get them. Another thing that I like to argue about as well is does nobody remember the French riots of 2023 where the armed, the French armed responses showed up, they lost control instantly and all of the third world illegal immigrants stole all their firearms and there were third, world, uh, third worlders 
on the roof of French buildings with bolt-action rifles completely took over. They never got those firearms back, by the way. They never got them back. They covered that one up very quickly. And again, apparently it cost eight to twelve thousand pounds per person to get them over from the English Channel from France over into England. Whether these third worlders then eight to twelve thousand euros or pounds or whatever the currency is to come over here, or are they paying their debt off by, you know, kind of working with these dine members, or maybe they were dine members to begin with, and they're smuggling over drugs and firearms to pay off their debt? Hmm, makes you really wonder, where did he get his illegal handgun? Hmm, where have all those bolt-action sniper rifles gone and shotguns and rifles that they stole from the French armed police who showed up to that massive riot, who lost complete control of the situation instantly, and also lost control of their own firearms? Hmm, also, where was their next destination? Because they never stop in France, they always go to the next door neighbour, which is the UK. The police have lost control of the streets, they absolutely fucking have. The police are beyond stretched thin. It's full of a lot of woke police officers who just want to arrest people for mean words on Twitter. Again, my most viral video on this channel was I Predicted Lesbian Nana 2. It's an eight minute long video, bang on. I recommend it. They're, t they're stretched thin, they're under trained. The standards for signing up to the police have absolutely plummeted to absolute low levels. So any idiot, any idiot can sign up and just do the most retard stuff imaginable. And also, again, I heard this on the Lotus Eater po uh, podcast as well as one third of all police officers will retire in the next two years. If the police have failed past tense now, what are the police going to be in the next two years? Because bear in mind, nobody's signing up to the police either. They're not, well, I take that back, there's a voluntary non-paid police work which means you can become a temporarily police officer with zero training or nothing down that line, you know, unpaid volunteer work. Like that whole video of that that third world woman who signed up to be a police officer and tried to say that reading the bible in public was illegal and she was harassing that poor Christian lady as well. And you wonder why I keep arguing, arguing about bringing firearms back to the UK. This is only going to get worse. It is becoming a day-to-day, -day, you know, it's happening multiple times on a daily basis now. And I am waiting for something far worse than the Manchester Arena bombing or something far worse than Sandy Hook or Columbine or the Boston Marathon, something down that line. Again, bear in mind there was a guy called Mohammed who almost blew up a Leeds hospital very recently with a Boston Marathon style bomb with a pressure cooker and he was just topped out of it at the last second. Something is going to happen on a cataclysmic level in the UK because of this deliberately purpose designed project of allowing third worlders just to invade our country that has been designed because they get British citizenship you, and then who do you think they're going to go vote for? And then why do you think Sadiq Khan won the third term of London Mayor? I wonder why. Yeah, um, you're not you're not allowed pepper spray, you're not allowed stun guns and tasers, even though I hate stun, stun guns and tasers because they're so shit and ineffective. Firearms need to come back, I'm sorry, I know a lot of British people go, you know, oh, criminals got in the whole licence thing and shut up, shut the fuck up. Criminals buy all their firearms illegally. It's gotten to the point now where, yeah, we have to take a, a few good pages out of America's book and go, yep, let's start arming ourselves, this is getting beyond a joke. But, again, I know I'm wasting my breath because the, the British government want us to have any level of, of power and authority over ourselves, fucking forget it. You will live in the pods, you will eat the bugs, you will own nothing, and you will be happy. That is their whole idea. Ted Selinsky's manifesto, fucking spot on, that man was a genius. Sure, an evil genius, but a genius nonetheless. But anyway, I'll wrap the video up there. Thank you very much for tuning in, it's greatly appreciated. And then, um, please go check out my other videos about, you know, bringing back firearms to the UK. Go follow me over on Twitter at, at Rantaholic, linked in the pinned top comment as well. And again, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification and leave a comment down below. When you do all of these things at the same time, it really helps me push me in the algorithm. And I'm less than, I think I'm about 30 subscribers away from a thousand. So if we can hit that within the next 30 days, that would be awesome. But yeah, Paisley Chainsaw Massacre in a couple of hours after uploading this. But yeah, I love you all. And as always, keep on rolling. Have a great day and a better week to, f oh, sorry, a better week to follow. Bear in mind, baseball bats and other things are completely legal. Start arming yourself, people. You know, the third worlders are here, the upper class third world country.